mountain biking is my life, I guess. So um, everything I've got now has, has come through mountain biking. I started riding bikes and motocross and BMX at a, at a pretty young age. I've got an older brother, he, he's him and his mate sort of discovered mountain biking and I was always trying to keep up on my BMX bike and and eventually went to a local dual slalom race and, and um, yeah, just just watched that and and sort of found a love and a passion for it and, and got into it that way. So the first few races were just on my BMX bike until I sort of saved up enough money to get a mountain bike and it just all went from there. Mountain biking was pretty new, I guess, uh, in West Australia at the time, so my dad didn't really know too much about it and thought it was a bit of a waste of time driving us around to do a, a two minute long race. So at the time he made us do the cross country and the, and the downhill, um, which I guess taught us a, a bit about the fitness side and endurance as well, so that was good. Um, but yeah, I guess uh, my, my dad and mum realised I had a bit of a, a talent and a love for it and, and um, took a lot of time out of his own work and, and spending the money to get me over to the east coast of Australia to get to the national rounds and um, yeah, I guess sort of progress and chase my dreams and goals that way. So they were, they were huge support. I guess when I discovered mountain biking, I'd come race home from school on my bike and sit there and watch some of the, the, the videos with guys like Steve Pete and Cedric Gracia and they were sort of heroes and you'd watch the the World Cup race race scene through through old videos and um, yeah I never never actually thought that I'd be one of the guys on on those videos let alone racing Steve Pete and and, um, and those sort of guys early on and, and and beating them and becoming a world champion so it's it's pretty crazy to look look back on and sort of pitch myself back as a, a 12 13 year old kid and, and realize that it all, it all sort of came just because it was a dream that I that I kept chasing. I'm always looking for, for different lines and ways that I can either save energy down the track by missing braking bumps and holes or or trying to find lines that I feel like are going to give me a faster time by, by either carrying more speed or, or sort of making the track a bit shorter if you can take an inside here and there. So um, that's, that's a, a part of the fun for me in, in mountain bikes and racing. I think every one's different. Some people have the natural talent and some people work harder to, to sort of build that talent. Um, but it, yeah, if you can have all the talent in the world and not put the work in and, and not make it to where you want to be, or you can be a bit less talented and put a lot of work in and, and still get to the top. So it's just about believing in yourself and, and having those goals to set and, and work towards. Um, I think anyone getting into the sport, the, the first thing is to to keep it fun, it's, uh, it's the reason we all we all start, and it's the reason we all want to keep riding is, is to have fun and and that enjoyment and adrenaline that you get from from riding bikes. So yeah, I still get a little bit nervous sometimes if you're hitting a new line for the first time or that sort of thing. So it's sort of something you you learn how to deal with it and 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 know your limits and work up to to doing bigger things. It's awesome that the team, we're all together like a little family and it's, it's a little family away from your own family at home. So it makes it a lot better and easier and nicer to, to be able to travel around with a, with a close group of people that, that you know will have your back. Mountain biking is my life, I guess. So um, everything I've got now has, has come through mountain biking. Um, and yeah, it's, a, it's a pretty, pretty crazy to, to think of where it's brought me in the last 20 years.